Tonight at 5, Governor Abbott's plan to deploy buoys in the Rio Grande as another barrier to deter illegal border crossings from Mexico is moving forward, but not without opposition. Ken Molestina has an update on the installation and the lawsuit from one man hoping to stop the state's plan. These large orange buoys near the Rio Grande and Eagle Pass are the latest tools in Governor Greg Abbott's efforts to secure the border. According to the Department of Public Safety, the four foot wide spheres are being installed in the river to create floating barriers. This is in addition to the miles of razor wire already in place in those same areas. A spokesperson for Texas DPS says they're hoping it'll deter human smugglers who use rafts to transport people into the country illegally. The plan is moving forward despite opposition, but one man is hoping to stop it. The river can't speak for itself, so I'm speaking for the river and our area and our culture and our history and our gente. Jesse Fuentes is the owner of a canoe and kayak company that operates on and in the river. He's filed a lawsuit seeking to stop the buoys from going in. Fuentes says the floating barrier would not only hurt his business, but destroy the natural ecosystem of the river. What message do you hope your lawsuit sends to state government and to people beyond the state of Texas? I hope my lawsuit extends the message that you know, we need to be together in how we promote uh, for our state, for our communities, for our rural areas, how to prosper. There should be no hindrance. The first set of buoys will measure 1,000 feet long and will be in the water within a week, according to DPS. State law enforcement says they've also accepted the help of out-of-state troopers, mainly from Florida, to help with marine support along the border. Fuentes thinks it's all unnecessary. It really hurts uh, to see that uh, our particular area, our particular river is a staging point for something that is unheard of, untested. I'm Ken Molestina, CBS News, Texas.